Welcome to another Toronto by Transit. Today we're going to explore the 511 Bathurst route. Here we go. Welcome to Toronto by Transit, where this week we're exploring the 511 Bathurst streetcar route. Our journey begins at the Bathurst subway station, which is located on Bathurst Street, just north of Bloor. Bathurst Station is the northern terminus of the 511 Bathurst streetcar route, where it connects with Line 2 of the TTC subway system. Here we see car number 4469, specially wrapped to celebrate 100 years of the TTC. So I'm now walking south on Bathurst towards Bloor Street, and one noticeable, ab noticeable absence is Honest Ed's department store. I mean, I grew up going there with my mom when I was a little kid, so it's kind of weird seeing it not there anymore. And now there's a giant condo tower there, so memories here. Welcome to Honest Ed and the great, great city of Toronto. Here in Toronto, there's a famous man, but this guy must be insane. His prices are so low, any day he'll be broke. Honest Ed is his name. Honest Ed was located at the southwest corner of Bathers and Bloor and was Toronto's landmark discount store, opening in 1948 and closing in 2016. It was famous for its large marquee sign and its larger-than-life owner, the late Ed Mervish. The former discount store holds many fond memories for plenty of Torontonians. The site of the former discount store is now home to a towering condominium building, soon to be fully constructed and occupied. Now we head further south on Bathurst Street. It was a mild April day with overcast skies, but the lighting conditions were perfect for video. We now arrive at Harvard and Bathurst Street, home of Harvard Collegiate, a historic school in Toronto. Alright, so just walking by Harvard Collegiate, which is one of the oldest schools in Toronto, it has many notable alumni, including actor Keith Sutherland, among many others. So, quite a little bit of a historic landmark here in Bathurst Street, and uh, lots of history here. Here is a very nice shot of number 4467, disembarking passengers at Harvard Street. Something caught my eye on Harbor Street just east of Bathurst. Yes, 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 it was time for a donut. Mmm, look at all these. Krispy Kreme donuts to be exact. Alright, as I was walking along Harbor Street there, I came across Krispy Kreme donuts and I thought I probably shouldn't, but I haven't had enough health food today, so I got myself a original glazed. So give this a try. And she was nice enough to I bought one, but she was nice enough to give me two. So apparently she thinks I don't have enough health food, so here we go. And I haven't had a Krispy Kreme donut in years and years, and they're just as I remember them, ultra sweet, almost too sweet. But you know what, they're good. So what? Now we head further south on Bathurst Street, where it becomes more residential in nature. Next up is the intersection of College and Bathurst. This is where the 511 Bathurst car connects with the 506 Carlton car.
Next, we arrive at Bathers and Dundas and Toronto Western Hospital. This is where the Bathurst cars connect with the Dundas cars. If you're new to our channel, welcome! If you're enjoying this video and want to see more great content, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with the latest uploads. We'd also appreciate a thumbs up and a comment to let us know how you're enjoying this video. Thank you very much. I love this colorful mural on Bathurst Street just south of Dundas. And another look at number 4469 with the 100th anniversary wrap. Okay, just outside Wolseley Loop, which is one of the most picturesque TTC loops in the city, besides the Lighthouse Loop down further on the line. You can get a nice shot here of the streetcar and the CN Tower. Just lovely. The colorful houses and view of the CN Tower in the background make Wolseley Loop a favorite among trolley and streetcar fans to photograph the cars. Here we see a 501 Queen car making use of the Wolseley Loop to turn back and head towards its destination, Neville Park. This was due to track construction further down the line. Here is number 4500 arriving at Bathers and Queen. Next, we arrive at King and Bathurst, where the 511 car connects with the 504 King car. It is also the start of the Entertainment District in downtown Toronto. This is also a complex intersection for streetcars. Many different turning options are available here. And looking up to the sky, it looks like a spider web full of overhead electrical wires. Also at King and Bathurst is the Wheat Sheep Tavern, which claims to be Toronto's oldest bar. On my walk, I made it all the way to Bathurst in front and the Bathurst Street Bridge. The sun came out, which changed the lighting conditions, and unfortunately this shot is a little overexposed, but I included it anyways. Alright, I made it to Bathurst in front and I'm getting hungry, so I think it's time for some brunch. And we're going to go old school today on Dundas Street, just west of Bathurst. At front in Bathurst, I hopped on a northbound 511 car and met my friend Nick from the YouTube channel Nick Tours and we headed north back to Dundas Street for brunch at a restaurant called Old School. Their menu looked really good online and I was looking forward to trying it. Old School is located on Dundas just west of Bathurst and has a nice relaxed diner-like atmosphere. The menu was fantastic. Here is a pecan milkshake. For brunch we both had the fried chicken benedict it was absolutely to die for. The chicken was ultra tender and juicy. The eggs benedict were perfectly done. The potatoes were great and even the salad was tasty. And we finished with dessert, this homemade pop tart. Mm -mm -mm. And after that wonderful brunch, which by the way, we highly recommend old school. 
we hop the southbound 511 car to see another attraction on the 511 line, Fort York. We had an excellent view of Fort York from our streetcar, and then wound our way onto Fleet Street, heading towards the entrance of Fort York. The car was nearing its southern terminus of exhibition. However, we hopped off at Fort York Boulevard and made the short walk over to the visitor center. All right, had a terrific brunch and rode the 511 car back down to Fleet Street and we're gonna take a quick look around Fort York. I've never been here, well, I think I've been here when I was in grade school, but that's ages ago, so yeah, I've never been here. <laughs> Fort York is a perfect destination for those looking to learn more about Toronto's earliest days and the War of 1812, where British troops fought off invading American forces. The site features the most extensive collection of buildings dating back from the War of 1812 and has many immersive exhibits. It is a fantastic place to spend an afternoon. This visit to Fort York provided a unique opportunity to capture some interesting shots of the 511 Bathurst car passing the historic site. And this is where we'll leave you. We walked over to the exhibition station to make our way back home after a fantastic day exploring the 511 Bathurst line. All right, had a fantastic time exploring the 511 Bathurst line and some of the attractions along the way, some of the food along the way. It was all amazing, an amazing day. Thanks for joining me today on Toronto by Transit. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to check out our other Toronto by Transit videos. See you later.